CBS 46 is fighting for our veterans. And tonight we go to bat for a disabled vet whose apartment complex is refusing to give him a handicap accessible unit. CBS 46's Bo Beth Yates has the story. I'm at Southwood Apartments in Murrow, and without this makeshift plywood ramp, the veteran would not have access to his home. And they say this is just one of several fixes the complex won't make. Don't cry, don't cry, sweetheart, sweetheart, yeah. don't cry. Larry Keith and his wife have been going back and forth with their apartment complex for about a year, trying to be transferred into a handy accessible unit. My husband is a disabled veteran who has suffered from two strokes and has lost the use of his mobility as well as speech. Despite his condition, the Keiths were placed in a unit with doorways and a hallway that are too small for his wheelchair. They also do not have handicap parking and they have to use a piece of plywood as a makeshift ramp to get to their building. And then he has to be transferred from his wheelchair to the car in the middle of the street. When I questioned them about it because um, we're not, we did not get the unit. They said they had no control over who got the handicap accessible units. My next door neighbor's apartment is fully handicap accessible. He is an able-bodied man. According to Keith, there are 10 handy accessible units in the complex, but none of them have been assigned to someone with special needs. So CBS 46 went to talk to management, but the doors were locked and someone inside yelled through the window that they were at lunch. Then we called the corporate office, PK Management in Ohio. They told us someone would get back to us, but at the time of this broadcast, that has not happened. As for the Keiths, they say the frustration has become too much to bear. I don't think they really care anything about how I have to get in and out of this apartment. CBS 46 will continue to fight for this veteran and will keep reaching out to management until we get a resolution. Bo Beth Yates, CBS 46 News.